it makes you feel um, justified maybe maybe it makes you feel better than everybody because you're not experiencing the pain that you're inflicting on others and so it, it, it you can see that it's you know it can be an arc that absolutely or you or a downward spiral if you'd rather right. um, but sure It, it raises a tough question because we have to first we have to set the baseline you know where where should our our moral framework be pointed right and because I, there's three types of decisions that I, I came up with I, I was able to to break it down into three categories so we got poor decisions immoral decisions and evil decisions okay. right and so so the the moral framework if we don't start from a point where, where, where we can say okay what is a positive moral framework? What is a morally upright framework? And what is a, a negative moral framework? Um, these are the type of these are the type of things that that build people's frameworks. So the 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 poor decisions. Uh, if if somebody makes a bad decision, and something bad happens because of it, you know, does that make them a bad person or evil? No, I think it makes them a person. We okay. all are subject to poor decision making and a poor decision. I don't know how many people here have ever taken an IQ test, but they always ask these weird questions. If all zips are zeps and some zeps are zups, are all zups zeps? And the whole idea is to get you into a nonlinear method of thinking where you understand that just because things align here doesn't necessarily mean they do over here, right? So, right. no, I don't think you're morally a bad person because you make mistakes. Immoral decisions, decisions that are, and this, I came up with this 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 definition from reading today. Uh, immoral decisions are decisions that are intentionally harmful, cruel, or result in significant and unjustifiable harm to others. Right? Those are those are immoral decisions. In your opinion, is it is it really easy? For somebody that's making poor decisions to slide into that immoral category, just just because yes. of natural progression. Sure, I mean you can have a glass of water that's clear, and you can start adding one grain of sand at a time, and eventually that water becomes murky. The water was neutral to begin with, and you can look at the grains of sand as the bad decisions. And this is why you have so many people steeped in bad decision-based poverty in the West. And it's not because they're necessarily bad, it's not because they're immoral, but over time, when mistakes become the norm and when mistakes become the pattern of behavior with no attempt and no, I should say no reasonable attempt to better oneself, then yes, it becomes very easy to slide into immorality, which is why, what do you hear from all the folks in, in, in like the hood? Why well, sell drugs because it's, it makes better money than working at McDonald's and they justify a higher paycheck by doing something that many consider to be immoral. Um, so yeah, I, I think it can slide. Okay. And then the, the, the last decision, the last type of decision, the evil decision. And the, the two phrases I, I found most commonly with this was extreme moral or ethical wickedness. And I, I was like, okay, Let's look up the definition. Let's figure out what the definition of wickedness is. The, the quality, and this is from Oxford, the quality of being evil or morally wrong. Mm -hmm. So, and tell me, tell me if you think I'm off base here. So, so you can actually go from making these immoral decisions and have an immoral framework and, and very easily have those things classified as being evil and I think the intentionality of it is is the key part and and am I you think I'm off base I'm off base there is that that kind of I don't think so I think that there's a natural progression there so we can start out with your first example of bad decision making and let's say you just were born into a situation and it becomes easy to make bad decisions well, bad decision making isn't necessarily immoral until it gets to a part where your decision making affects others, right? Where you're where you're doing things that harm others. I would say evil is when you get to the point where you relish it, where you're like, "Fuck it, I'm doing this. I don't care. It doesn't bother me what anyone thinks. I'm going to keep doing it because I'm getting mine." And then you start to get into, 
you know, sadism and narcissism where you enjoy the pain of others because, well, it makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel um, justified, maybe. Maybe it makes you feel better than everybody because you're not experiencing the pain that you're inflicting on others. And so it, 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 you can see that it's, you know, it can be an arc that absolutely, or, or a downward spiral, if you'd rather. Right. Um, but sure. Thanks, Milo.